Hi, Cheryl here, and today I'm here to show you the Passion Flower Bracelet. As you can see, it's got a nice lacy side, and here is the front of it. And I'm going to show you how to make this today on two forks. All right, I already have one here, as you can see, that I have started. And I'm going to show you how to, when I come to finishing it off, I'm going to show you how to finish it off with this one. But I'm going to be showing you the same color coordination. That's why I want to show you this one. This one is the um, red, orange, and green. And we're going to be using the same color. So you know that when I do the red, it's going to be on the outside. When I do the orange, it's going to be the inside color. And then when I go to the green, it's going to be the cross bands. So you know which portion of the band each color is going to go to. All right, so we're going to get started. So we're starting with the red. And the red's always going to go over the middle two tines. It's going to start on the first one, twist two times, and then go to the second one. And you're going to turn to the back and do the same thing. Start on the first one. Twist one, two. Put on the second one. Okay. From there, you're going to go to your orange. Bring our rose down a little closer. And right, now we're going to do our orange which is going to go on the end two. And when I put it on, I'm going to sit my finger through the hoop in the back. It's around the two front, and then my finger is slipped through it in the back. That's going to hold it in place and keep it nice and tight in the front so it's easiest to pull over. And I'm going to do that every time. And then I'm going to pull over the bottom over the top band. into the back and then I'm going to slip my finger out and I'm going to turn to the back and I'm working on the same side of the fork always working on this side of the fork I'm going to do the same thing putting my finger through there pulling this band this right here this band up and over to the back slipping my finger out Now I'm working on the same end of the fork that I've been working on. These two tines I'm not going to use at all. I'm going to take my end band, my green one, put it over these two, and then twist it and put it back over these two. Then I'm going to pull this bottom one up and over to the back. And then this bottom one up and over to the back. So at no point I'm gonna am I gonna, ever gonna have two that I'm pulling over, up and over. It's always gonna be one. If you have two, then you miss pulling something up and over. All right now I'm back to the beginning, and I'm back to the red. The red's going on the middle, like it's always gonna go over these middle two tines, and I'm pulling these two up and over. And you notice I'm putting my finger through it in the back to hold it tight. Otherwise, it's going to be all floppy, and it's going to be hard to pull things up and over. So I always put it on and put my finger through it. I'm going to pull these two bottom ones up and over both these two top ones. Take my finger out and push it down. And then I'm going to do the orange. Put it on the end two, put my finger through it to hold it tight, pull this up and over, and then pull, this is, I say, do I, is it going to be two? I don't count this as two because it's one band. It might be wrapped twice, but it's one band. And then pull this up and over. Take my finger out and push it down. Now I'm on this side. I'm going to start with my red which is in the middle, put my finger through, 
and pull these two up and over. Take my finger out and push it down, then do my orange, which is the two on the end. Push my finger through, pull these up and over. Take my finger out, push it down. Now I'm on the end one again, which is my green. Put it on, wrap it around, put it on a second time. Then pull bands up and over it. Push down. Now I'm back to the red. Middle two, push my finger through the back of it and pull these two bottom ones up and over. Push down. I'm doing the orange over the end two, push my finger through to hold it in place, pull the bottoms up and over, push down, go to the other side. Start with my red over the middle two, finger through, pull the two up and over. As you can see, put the orange on, put your finger through, and pull it over. And then the green. And then it's really bunching, so you're gonna by now you can start pulling it. And when you pull it out, you want to pull it out on the opposite side that um, you're working from. So this side is the side that I'm putting the double band on. So I'm gonna pull it out to the other side of that. All right. So I'm not going to keep verbally repeating the pattern, but I'll keep going so you can watch me go with it. The bands aren't tight to pull over, except the green ones or the one that's doubled is a little tighter, but that's about it. Oops, going the wrong way with this. This one here is a little tight. That's about it, but it's not too bad. And they're easy enough to get a hold of on this one. It's not one that they're hard to get a hold of without a hook. Oops. 
So the trickiest thing about this whole thing is just is just working that you're working to the same side on the forks. Other than that, it's it's not too bad to do. It's not that hard to learn. I'm going to move my bands over here. So let me pause. As you can see, it's coming out pretty nicely. All right, so that's basically how you do it. If you have any trouble on how to do it, just rewind and watch it some more. And um, I'm going to show you how to take it off. All right, so to take it off of the fork, you're going to step forward with your end. So you're going to take this one and move it forward. And then pull this one over it. And move it to the front and pull these two over it and do the same thing on the other side. Move it forward, pull it over, move it forward, pull them over. And these two are what you're going to put the clip on. So get your clip, clip it through this side, take it off and then clip it through this side before you take it off and take it off. And there you're done with it clipped. Take it around to the other side, clip it through, and then find another spot on the other side. Try to make it one instead of two. It keeps one and give you two. Clip it through, and there you have it, a passion flower bracelet made on two forks. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and I will be coming up, well, we'll be doing some more tutorials with forks. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and thank you very much for watching. Cheryl Mayberry, Mayberry a.k.a. Willow Crete.